So people in this video let us look at the timing of operation that is the cesarean timing. So it could be an elective cesarean or an emergency cesarean. Uh, in emergency you have category 1, 2 and 3. Look at elective cesarean. Before that look at the spelling of cesarean guys because um, uh, when I am writing cesarean why here it is okay with it but here it is not okay with it. C E C C Rian. This is the spelling. Okay. But here it suggests a C A E etc. Just go with C C Rian. This is the easiest spelling that um, we should practice. Okay. Now coming to elective cesarean. What is elective cesarean? Basically, the operation is done at a prearranged time. Okay, so you will know which time to do it. You are choosing to do it at that time. It's not just by you. Basically, let us talk it, uh, talk about it as a perspective of the doctor. So he knows the quality of obstetrics. The uh, the the doctors who are available, the anesthesia will be available, the neonatal resuscitation team will be available, the nursing services will be available. So this is when you pre-arrange the time, okay? And the best team is available, okay? At their best potential. So that is when you are saying it's an elective cesarean. This elective cesarean can be done when the maturity is certain or maturity of the baby uh, lungs is uncertain. It could be either ways. A certain, when are you certain that the maturity of the baby is there, fetus is there, that will usually be around one week prior to the expected date of confinement, okay? What if the maturity is uncertain, right? So what will you do? You will wait for the onset of labor and then a cesarean section is done. So the benefits of elective cesarean, guys, basically you can do an elective, that's why you're doing fetal uh, maturity, etc., right? And um, uh, the morbidity, mortality will reduce, etc. Now let us move to emergency cesarean. Emergency cesarean basically there are three categories here one two and three. Let's look at all the three categories. Wait, there are actually four. Okay let's look at this. Uh, an emergency cesarean section basically if there is fetal distress right fetal heart rate is not re reassuring etc. That is considered an acute obstetric emergency when there is immediately immediate threat to the life of the woman or the fetus. It is category one. It's a red. You can see that within 30 minutes you have to deliver the baby okay within 30 minutes that is coming in category one category two it is not immediately life-threatening you can take about 75 minutes and category three um it needs early delivery but there is no maternal or fetal compromise category four is more like an elective one so don't look at that so basically what are the things that come under category one look at this uh, image here you will be able to understand better see if there's an umbilical cord prolapse so what will happen the umbilical cord is outside and the blood vessels can constrict and the baby can get no blood, right? So that would be dangerous. Placenta previa with active hemorrhage, it's actively bleeding, placenta previa. So again the baby fetal distress it can cause, placental abruption with hemorrhage. Pathological CTG, cardiotopography of the baby is abnormal, again fetal distress, eclampsia. Eclampsia is something to do with the mother, isn't it? She is throwing seizures. Failed instrumental delivery. So you tried vacuum, forceps, etc. Failed. So you are going to go into emergency cesarean section. Okay. Now let us look at category 2. Dystocia. Prolonged labor, etc. Right. Because of the passage, the passenger and the power. Uterine contractions are not sufficient. Then placental abruption with mild hemorrhage. Here you had moderate and severe of hemorrhage. Here they are talking about mild hemorrhage. They seem to be using a color, but anyways, this is not very important, looks like. Then, persistent, non-reassuring non cardiotocography. Again, fetal distress is indicating, right? The heart rate, etc. is not good of whom? Of the fetus. Then, severe preeclampsia. You know that means she will go into eclampsia, right? That means to say, you can do a category 2 cesarean section. Now, coming to category 3, that is a scheduled kind of a thing. This is green. Um, could be some things could overlap here guys this sounds more like an elective one so just look at this these are not the absolute uh, categories but anyways green failed induction of delivery okay failed induction of delivery they have written um, then so these are the criteria for emergency cesarean what is nice nice is some institute national institute or something okay national where is it go here It is National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence. Okay. 
So in this video, we have looked at uh, elective versus uh, emergency cesarean guide. Just remember, uh, if it is elective etc., you will ensure the maturity of the uh, fetus. If uh, maturity is uncertain, they will wait for the onset of labor or uh, maturity if needed what they can do also they can give steroids right so that the baby's lung will get matured right so all those things you should know so if they can wait you know if they can wait they would give steroids